This video is sponsored by Sketchfab. Stick around to see how you can get all of these premium cool models for free and also join an amazing community that gives you opportunities to showcase your own work, buy, sell, and also preview your 3D content on the internet. Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we are looking at a very free add-on that you can work with and this free add-on would help you work with your right mouse button as a form of navigating directly here in Blender. Now, for those who would like to get this, I'm going to put a link in the description where you can go ahead and grab it as this add-on is made available by the folks at Spectral Vectors. Now, once you get this add-on, one of the things that you need to take or keep in mind is this comes as a Python file. So we've been talking about how you can install stuff directly in Blender and most of the files that we've talked about are mostly zip so you might be asking okay is there a different way that you can install this no there is actually no other way except you know going over to edit go over to preference and then you can go over to your add-on section and install it like normal now what does this add-on actually do now the idea for this add-on is to simulate how you get to work in unreal engine so for those who have no idea there are several ways to navigate directly in unreal engine and i'm just going to go ahead and show you guys this so right here in unreal engine you could choose to navigate in two ways by simply selecting an object making it the point of your camera focus and then hold on alt with your left mouse button and you can navigate or you know a bit around that object and this becomes you know the target point for your camera so this way you can actually go all the way back and that still remains the target point. But now, once you take a look at the scene which we have, you notice that it's a huge scene, all right? This huge scene comes with a lot of prizes, and the prize number one is that navigating across a scene as big as this might not come cheap. Imagine me going all the way, let's say I wanna go all the way to this point, I would have to select that, press F on the keyboard, and maybe I wanna go over to that point. You know, it's, it just becomes crazy. So. Unreal Engine has a second way of navigating, which is by simply holding down the right mouse button. And then if you press W on your keyboard, let's actually deselect. Right mouse button, press W on your keyboard, and that way you could navigate. Now you'd notice that navigation is a bit slow. This is because our camera is uh, actually set to do that. So if I would like this to happen a bit more faster, I need to roll the middle mouse button forward. So if I roll it forward, it goes faster and you can notice that. And if I roll it backward, it becomes slower. So this way you can control the camera speed on the fly. And I guess this is uh, something that a lot of people would want to see in Blender. And the reason why we're talking about this is because the add-on which we'll be talking about actually allows you to do this now for those who are excited about all of these assets you know you want to grab these assets you want to bring them directly in blender you want to use them in blender of course you can grab these things and bring them over to blender we've talked about how you can do this but then this particular one is currently not available for you guys i mean it was available up until i think it was available for december or january but right now it has gone back to being purchased so i mean if you don't if you don't get it then you cannot actually get it now for free except maybe the folks at epic games will go ahead and make this one permanently free but this one is actually not available but there are some that are available like the downtown west modular pack you can actually go ahead and grab these ones these ones are also cool stuff you can grab assets from these and use them and there is also this one that is also available which is the industrial area hangar. So you guys can actually grab this, play with the asset that exists inside and do a lot of fun stuff with it. Meanwhile, if you want to grab these things and you're wondering how do I export things from here, there are actually some very interesting things I did notice that I would like to share with you guys. So if you download a file that is more like a project file, if you want to export this, if you go over to the section, let's say select that, you can obviously export things by selecting and say export selected. That is one way to do it. Now the second way to do it is to actually go over to the project folder. Now, if you go over to the project folder, you need to go over to the content section, go over to the project name, and uh, depending on how the hierarchy is being saved, you now go over to the models, and within the models, you can notice that we have a couple of things. So, especially for something like this, we have the nature section where you can find things like cave, and you notice they are all FBX files, and you can also see the asset files for Unreal Engine. With these files, you can now bring in the FBX files directly into Blender and work with them. And for those who will be saying, what about the material? Okay, you can fix the material yourself, but the texture is also here. So you would need to go all the way back, go over to the texture section, and if you 
take a look you would notice that there are a couple of textures right here but they are all tga files so you would need to bring these ones and uh, maybe convert them to jpeg or png and also work with this so once you have these files out or maybe you have what you want you can also go over to blender and because we have this installed by the way this asset is also from unreal engine so how do you navigate with the right mouse button and we already know that you know with the right mouse button there's this context menu that exists so i'll also go ahead and explain this so if you hold on the right mouse button and you press w on your keyboard you would notice that the camera automatically starts moving exactly how it happens in unreal engine now if we also roll the camera if we also roll the middle mouse button forward you would notice that the camera starts moving even faster and you can notice that you know it's moving way too fast and let's turn back and you notice it's moving way too fast so this add-on is mostly for set designers and uh, people who just simply want to travel around their scene a bit more faster you will find you know you'll find peace working with this one now if you start rolling the mouse backward or if you roll the middle mouse backward you notice it travels slower so you can also control the camera speed exactly how you can in unreal engine right here if you're also wondering about can i get the context menu for the right mouse button this works very easily all right once you right click and let go automatically this pops up all right you'll notice that by default suzanne is set to uh, shade flat okay so if i right click you notice that she's set to shade flat and i can set that to shade smooth i can right click shade flat and this right mouse button becomes a multi-purpose button that you can work with and also those who might be asking all right so what about the asset you didn't show how to bring in this asset how you can bring in the asset is simple go over to file go to import and then go over to fbx and because i'm just going to drag this one in here and because you know we already uh looked at the places where you can get this i can go over to the rock section and i can click on the rock let's say we want the tall rock and we can click on that rock and you can see this right here so you can bring in all of those things from unreal engine you know bring them over here and create your own wonderful set piece all by yourself and that's about it but before we go let's give a huge shout out to our sponsors sketchfab so sketchfab by default is the largest place on the internet by far where you can preview download and also upload your own 3d art now for those looking for free 3d models that you can work with all you need to do is simply go over to explore go over to downloadable and you'll be able to see tons of free downloadable amazing artworks and also amazing 3d models that you can get for free and of course if you like to sell your own 3d models or purchase some 3d models for yourself or for your project you can simply come over to sketchfab search for these things and also get good with it so this is more like it tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notification so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and i'll see you guys again with the tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace